Hey everyone, and welcome to the first BMX news of 2019. This is a BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. So with that being said, let's jump right on into the news. The first thing that I want to talk about is some sponsorship news. I'm honestly surprised there's not more to talk about than this because at the end of one year and the beginning of another always comes some sponsorship news. And the only thing that I have to talk about this week is that Chase Dehart is off of animal bikes. This was a bit of a surprise, but as I said, at the end of the year and the beginning of a new year, there's always mix-ups in the sponsorship world. Chase made a post and a statement on Instagram about this one, breaking the news, and it really didn't seem to be on bad terms whatsoever. So there's that, I guess. And in reading the statement, it kind of seems like he did it because there's something else that he has going on. Can't say for sure, and I don't have any information on it. All we can do is look forward to what we will be seeing in the future from Chase because he's definitely not slowing down anytime soon. After that, we can move into the videos from this week. The first video that I wanna talk about just came out today and I watched it just before starting recording this and it's from Brian Hunt and it's called The Good Things and it's from Dig BMX. The first thing that I wanna say about this video is that if you're watching this news video right now and you're under the age of 21, you have to watch this video. No exceptions whatsoever. If you're under 21, watch the video. Click the link in the description and go watch this video because if you've ever heard anyone talking about how awesome BMX was in the mid 2000s, this represents everything that they were talking about. Everything about this video was awesome, which is why it was my favorite video of the week by far, and why I'm telling you that you have to watch this video. And I'd say regardless of age, everyone should check this one out because that's how good it is. Stu Johnson put this one together and he did an absolutely fantastic job. I personally feel like BMX is exactly what you make it, so there's really no reason why someone who is still riding and not just watching BMX videos can't live their BMX life as if it's still the mid-2000s. But if you were around BMX in the mid-2000s, watching this video just makes you feel it, and I really hope that more stuff like this one comes out soon. After that, we've got a new Drop the Pin video from Ride BMX, this time featuring Albert Mercado and a couple others. This one is seriously by far my favorite drop the pin video that they've done yet. The first pin was dropped in a place that wasn't exactly rideable, and I'm not going to spoil that. I'm just going to let you guys watch the video. I'll just say that it was pretty funny. From there, they dropped a new pin, and the video just kept getting better and more really random stuff happened in there. This video has everything from horses to SWAT teams to the hand plant 180 that you see in the thumbnail. And I will say that Demarcus Paul's reaction to the hand plant 180 being landed is probably the best thing ever. That's really all I want to say about this one other than the fact that you guys definitely should check this one out. After that is a video called At Home in ATX with Travis Hughes, and this one is from Kink. At first glance, the title might make you think that it's supposed to be a peek into Travis's home life. Just like the last one, no spoilers here because this is one that I would completely ruin if I talked about, and I want you to go and just watch it and experience it for yourself. The riding part of this one is awesome as well. Travis always kills it on the bike, and as always, Daryl Taco killed it behind the camera and in editing on this one. And I want to quickly mention here at the end that I seriously love the direction that Kink has been going with their videos lately, from the Contender Frame promo with the boxing to this one. Just having concepts in videos takes them over the top and just makes them that much better. After that, the last video I want to talk in depth about this week comes from Isaac Lesser, and it's called We Done Yet, and it's from Shadow. When you have a video start with a sub foofanoo on the van that it appears you woke up in, you know you're going to have a good video, and Isaac absolutely kills everything he touches in this video. Isaac has so much bike control and skill on 
every aspect of riding his bike. And I could say a lot more about this video, but it's another one that I think you guys just need to click the link in the description and check out for yourselves. And speaking of the description and clicking links, there are going to be links in the description to every single video and thing that I'll be talking about within this BMX news video in the order that it's talked about. So if there's anything you guys wanna check out further, links are in the description below. After that, there were a few more videos that were worth mentioning that I wanna run through right now. The first one is the Maiden America Tour 5 video called The Road Goes On Forever. Then we had a Chad Douglas New York City mix from Animal, followed by a video called Mind and I with Jake Seeley from Sunday. This was a little bit of a behind the scenes of filming with Mike Mastroni for the Ride BMX Headlights Project. Then we had a Trevor Siglock I need dubs video from SM where he's riding the 22 inch SM bike that he built up. Then we've got a Chad DeGroot Neely's 2018 video, which is basically an exploration of all of the different ways that he could take a trick that he is calling the Neely where he's got his knee on his seat. It's over 10 minutes long and mostly flatland riding. So if you're into Chad's riding, you're probably going to enjoy this video. From there, we had a couple bike checks to talk about this week. The first one is with Ben Allen and it's from Sunday. The second one is with Skylar Pingree and it's from Fit. Then the third one is a What I Ride bike check from Ride BMX, this time with Gasper. Gwendolyn. Hopefully I said that right. From there, we can move into the product news from this week, which there was an absolute ton of. The first one is some new colors in the Fit High Top V2 stem. The first color is Bourbon Brown, then Blood Red, Tiffany Blue, and Classic Black. This stem has a 51 millimeter reach, a 32 millimeter stack height, and 35 millimeter rise. Then we had some new S&M pivotal and railed seats, followed by a quick promo video for Brock Rayford's signature raft stem from Odyssey. It's just Brock talking for a quick minute about all of the dimensions and colors and aspects of his signature stem from Odyssey. Then we had another promo video in a white Sealy peg promo video from Sunday. This is another promo video that's only a minute long, except this one features most mostly riding and it's with Jake Seeley. So if you enjoy Jake's riding, you're probably going to enjoy this video. There's also some nice B-roll of the pegs in this one. So it makes it an all around great promo video as well. Then another product video from Sunday. This time it's featuring the matte pale pink colorway parts. This is just 30 seconds of someone installing all of the parts that come in this new pink colorway onto a bike for you to get a better look at them. And after that, we've got Courage Adams 2019 Savannah promo from Fly. This is basically a street edit with one or two clips featuring some parts. Courage always kills it on his bike, which most of you probably know. So if you're a fan of Courage's riding, this is another one that you'll probably enjoy. And the last clip is kind of crazy and seems like it would be super scary to do. Then we had Profile Racing releasing some limited edition 50th anniversary 24 karat gold box cranks. This is a very limited run of 24 karat gold plated cranks. They were only $425. And from what it appears, I think that they're all gone because the link that's provided on Ride and on Profile's website takes you to a 404 error and says not found. So I'm assuming they're all gone, but it's still something that's worth talking about because it's it's literal gold cranks. Next, we have some new colors in We The People's message frame, followed by the last thing in product news that the Odyssey Thunderbolt cranks are now available in Chrome. So it's the same cranks that you know, only available in Chrome now for only $10 more than the black version. And that's gonna do it for products this week. We've got one interview type thing to talk about, and that is the Rollback Podcast. This time it's called Unclicked with Dennis Enerson, and it's kind of what I'm assuming is a bit of a promo for Dennis Enerson's new podcast that he's calling Unclicked. I haven't had a chance to listen to this one yet, but it's always good to hear from someone who's at the very top of their game, such as Dennis right now. And that's the last thing that I wanted to talk about this week as far as BMX news goes. I'm going to 
refresh ride real quick as always just to see if there's anything that we need to talk about nope all good so that's gonna do it for this week's bmx news hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know what your favorite thing that i talked about this week was in the comments down below and if you did enjoy it and you're new here hit the subscribe button down below as well and one more thing, if we're going to keep talking about enjoying videos, if you guys like this one, share it with a friend because it does nothing but help me to be able to make more videos just like this one for you guys to watch. So with that being said, I want to leave you guys with a thank you for being here, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.